Hello Audacious Church, um, wherever you are in the world and whatever time of day it is, I'd like to give you a huge welcome to this devotion. Um, my name is John Shelton, I'm one of the area pastors at Audacious Church and it's my privilege to be sharing again with you today about a passage of scripture that has great meaning to me. And I'd like you to come with me to the book of Philippians and chapter 3 and verse 12. And um, I'm just going to read out those few verses from that um, part of scripture. If you do have time, please read the whole chapter at some point today. St. Paul at his very, very best. Um, let's read together then. Um, Philippians 3 verse 12. This is St. Paul talking and writing. Not that I, I have already obtained this, and the this he's talking about is the goal of being Christ-like, of becoming more like Christ, or have already been made perfect. But I actively press on that I may take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of Christ Jesus. What a fantastic um, passage of scripture that is. Just want to bring out three points that have been an encouragement to me and I hope they are an encouragement to you too. The first thing, and I always love this about Paul, is the fact that he's clearly a work in progress. This is a man who is responsible for writing half the New Testament, a hero of the faith by any standards. And yet here he is being so humble, saying, I do not consider myself to have yet obtained Christlikeness, but I press on. He's a work in progress and so am I and so are you. God has not finished with us yet. And uh, we are still, if you like, on the great potter's wheel. And our Father God is gently shaping us day by day, minute by minute. We're all works in progress. And we can all be better as you listen to my devotion today. As I give this devotion today, you're thinking of things in your own life that you need to get sorted. But in the hands of the potter, he can um, smooth out those um, those inconsistencies and those things that mar the pot and he can make us more like Jesus. So just like St. Paul, I'm a work in progress. You're a work in progress. Stay on the wheel and let God do what only he can do. So the first thing is we're all works in progress. So we're not there yet. We never will be. We'll be perfect at one point when we close our eyes on this world and we open them up in heaven. Then we'll be perfect. Until then, we are working with Jesus and the Holy Spirit to become more like him. The second part that is such a great encouragement to me is the fact that it's clear that God has laid hold of me intentionally. It says, I, I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Jesus Christ has come along and he has chosen me. He has purposed me. He didn't just come along to the pick and mix of human life and say, oh, I might just have that one or that one. He chose me. He laid his hand on me. He's commissioned me. He's purposed me. And his purpose is for me to become more like him and in him to achieve everything that he has put inside me. When we became Christians, everything is ours in Christ. And our Christian life is to outwork what God has already put in. So God has laid hold of me. He has laid hold of you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are. You have been laid hold of by Christ intentionally. He wants to choose you. He wants to use you. He wants to make you into a beautiful expression of his of his nature and his character. And day by day, as we give in and as we um, and, and as we um, submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit, we will become more like our beautiful Jesus. So that's the second thing. 
Um, God has laid hold of me intentionally. You are a son, you are a daughter of God by design and he loves you. It's fantastic, isn't it? And the third thing, just to finish, is I need then to be intentional of being more like him. So he's laid he's laid hold of me and St. Paul writes that I strain, I press on, I intentionally move forward, I actively engage with the work of Christ in my life that I might lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus lay hold of me. So it's not just about being um, passive and letting God do everything. There's an obligation. There's a responsibility on me and you this morning, people who have been laid hold of by Christ, to therefore reach out, to strain, to run the race and to achieve everything that's in God's mind for us. And that's... um, that's the end of this devotion. I just want to leave you with those three things. We works in progress. Please don't give up. We all have hard days. We all have days where we feel like we're good for nothing, but God has not finished with us yet. The second thing, we've been laid hold of by Christ. We have been chosen by him, appointed kings and priests unto God. Isn't that fantastic? And the third thing is if God has laid hold of me, then let me, let you redouble our efforts today to lay hold of him, to embrace his purposes for me today and to give in to him, to relax into him, to submit to him and allow him to do his great work in my life. We're going to end as we always do with a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this great passage of scripture. We thank you for Paul, a man who was clearly aware of the fact that he was not a work, he was a work in progress and you would not finish with him yet. And we ask you like him to help us to press on, to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. We thank you, Lord, we are all works in progress. We thank you, you have not finished with us yet. And we ask you today, even today, to continue to make us more like you and help us to realise your great purposes in our life. Amen. So thank you, Audacious Church. Have the best day and I'll see you very, very soon.